Okay, so my name is Grant Don Devenman, and I'm here to present to you fats that kill the crude effects of cooking oils. And I just have a question to start out, and this question might seem a little bit weird. Um, you might not know what it has to do with cooking oils, but if I could just get a raise of hands for if anyone that has an answer. Um, does anyone know what plant or thing produces the most oxygen on our planet? Jackson? Algae and the ocean. Yeah, algae. A big misconception, a lot of people think that it's um, trees that produce it, but algae is produces 70% of the world's oxygen, whereas trees only produce around 30 to 28%. So that'll come into play a lot later. So firstly, I wanna talk about why is this like an issue? Why are cooking oils an issue? Basically, cooking oils are both an issue physically and environmentally. Physically, they have lots of horrible fats for you, like omega-6 fats and a lack of omega-3 fats, as well as saturated fats. They're very heavy in saturated fats, and they also are just basically empty calories. And a lot of mainstream cooking oils have all of these things, and people don't really know that there's alternatives to these, which cause a significant issue. The physical issue, as I said, is mainly the empty calories and the significant proportion of fats. So basically, a uh, cooking oil has mostly saturated fats and omega-6 fats, and omega-6 fats are very good for you, but it's important to have a balance of omega-6 and omega-3 fats, and having consuming cooking oils creates an excess of omega-6 fats, which are very unhealthy, as well as saturated fats. And environmentally, the production of cooking oils is very bad for the environment. As we know, there's lots of different types of cooking oils, like palm oil, um, canola oil, and all of these, the production of them, like the raw materials to create that, pollute the environment with both, with both the fertilizers and the pesticides that pollute the soil, and then the carbon dioxide production from the machinery and the plants themselves. And physically, they're both very bad, and environmentally, they have a lot of effluents that come from production of them. As we see here, there's a lot of oils are in um, everyday rivers that you see, everyday puddles that you see, like you might see, it's like kind of a little bit foggy and it looks not like water, but it's in there, it's a different color. And the, both the production and the use of cooking oils produces those effluents. So like when you are cooking with uh, oil in a pan and you rinse it out, it goes into the, into the like town water and that pollutes the, the environment through effluents. So current solutions to this are, there's a lot of current solutions to this, but they're not very widely applicated. So there's a lot of solutions with kind of trying to filter out them from, filter out the oils from the water in the environment through like the water filtration systems and everything like that. And there's lots of enzyme based like combat that kills the oils and everything in the water. But Majorly, the best alternative to this is to use a to use plants that to create the cooking oil that are actually good for the environment. So, I did my science fair project last year on making cooking oil out of algae, which again, as I said in the beginning, is very good for the environment itself. It's also very good for you and your physical health. A big health thing that people eat is spirulina and that is an algae. So in this science fair project, I created an algae out of cooking oil, I grew it and everything. But basically the point of this is that in contrast to producing foods like canola, cooking oils like canola oil, and algae is like producing it as a raw product is very different because it itself takes away carbon dioxide from the environment, it puts back oxygen and takes all those pollutants out of the air because that's what it uses to fuel itself and feed itself. And in contrast to um, producing, like I said before, it is very different because it, it uses a lot less energy to produce the algae itself. But to discuss this topic more thoroughly and investigate it more thoroughly, I talked to a professional, um, Professor Carol Loeffler at 
Dickinson College, and she, we discussed the possible negatives and positives of making algae cooking oil. Basically, we discussed how cooking oil out of algae, it could be very, it could be toxic to the environment as well as positive to the environment, but there's not enough testing to figure that out. So basically, algae is very, algae can be very invasive. Unlike other plants, any type of algae, even native algae, can be invasive. So we discussed that, but as well, again, like I said, algae is very good for the environment, so that would be a very good solution, like I said before. So as we see here, algae is farmed using massive farms like this that use very little resources. The only resources that they, that they use, other than actual like human labor, are slight fans that they use in the water to churn the water. So again, very minimal resources. Um, but yeah, kind of overall, cooking oils are very bad for yourself and the environment. And um, algae, cooking oils, as I said before, have their benefits. So yeah.